incredible find at an unimaginable height. The bodies of three children, buried with the artifacts and offerings of their time. The charring on the mummy's face appears to be from a lightning strike, and in turn, she receives the name La Nina del Rey, or the Lightning Girl. Of the three mummies, she is the most damaged, however, is still very well preserved. The only male child is named El Nino, or the boy, and the best preserved of them all is given the name Doncella, or the maiden, who is the eldest of the three children. An incredible find at an unimaginable height, the bodies of three children, buried with the artifacts and offerings of their time, mummified in near-perfect condition in the frozen, arid atmosphere of 22,000 feet. Reinhardt and his team had excavated what would be known as the highest archaeological site in history, and their find was beyond that honor. What they found would give a deeper understanding of the indigenous Incas, a people without a written language or history. Instead, their history would be told by the children. Who were they? The three mummified children were initially taken to the Catholic University of Salta, where they had the means to preserve the bodies and artifacts. Their ages, when they died, are determined through bone measurements and radiography, while their actual age is determined to be more than 500 years old. They were buried in the mountain tombs in the latter part of the great Inca Empire. Eventually, in 2004, a special museum, Museum of High Altitude Archaeology, would be opened specifically to preserve and protect the Inca mummies found at high altitudes. Located in the Argentine city Salta, this museum has state-of-the-art equipment that keeps the bodies of the children well preserved. The gist of it is, is that everything is kind of strictly controlled by people who know what they're doing. You know that this cryopreservation system is very successful because we check that every year and we know that the children outside and also inside are in perfect conditions of preservation. Encapsulado de los niños de Uyaco fue una propuesta innovadora que tiene que ver básicamente con modificar la atmósfera del dentro de la cápsula con nitrógeno en un 98% dejando un 2% de oxígeno. La cápsula en sí tiene una, una ventaja que la hace única en el mundo para la conservación de cuerpos. With the children's bodies safe in a museum specifically built to preserve bodies found on mountain tops like theirs, there are still questions. Why were the bodies up there in the first place? Who were these children and why were they sacrificed? The Inca civilization stretches back to the early 1400s CE. They accomplished some incredible feats. Their governance and economic system were to be admired. The political thing was tribute and redistribution. That was the, politi the economical politic of the Inca. Everybody paid and then the Inca redistributed these, these goods in all the empire. The Incas were also well known for their ability to build. Some say their accomplishments are even more impressive than what the Egyptians completed, especially considering the altitude. They also have a very complete and very perfect road system called Capacnian or uh, Inca road that connected and linked every region. The Inca had the news very quickly because of this road system. At the center of Inca culture was the family. It was the culture that extended the family to include aunts and uncles, cousins, and more distantly related family. And for the Inca, religion was at the center of their lives. 